In our weekly briefing, the Brexit referendum was an emotional and intense race. It was also incredibly close. It came down to 51.9% voting to leave versus 48.1% to stay. Today's new claims by an insider that vote leave may have broken UK spending laws set off another firestorm. If proven, the allegations could call into question the entire Brexit vote, supposed to take effect in about a year. For more on how this news will impact Brexit, I'm joined by UK Labour Party MP Ben Bradshaw from London. So you've been, you've been suspicious of what happened in that campaign for quite a while now. What, this was not a surprise to you? Uh, it, it wasn't a surprise, although uh, the extent of the whistleblower's testimony and the seriousness of it even took my breath away. I've been asking questions about the Leave campaign and the murky relationships between different bits of the Leave campaign and whether or not they broke our electoral law. I've also been asking questions about the role of Cambridge Analytica of our government uh, for nearly a year now and haven't had any answers. But I think these latest allegations really mean that the government here can no longer hide behind simply passing the buck onto our electoral commission and our information commissioner to investigate. This is more serious than that and the British people need to be reassured that they can have confidence in the integrity and security of our electoral system. What is the possible impact here? I mean some lawmakers are saying that this could question the entire validity of Brexit. If the, these allegations are found to be true, could, there, could that mean another referendum? Well, I mean, there are plenty of uh, other very good reasons why I don't think Brexit should go ahead. The negotiations are turning into an absolute fiasco. Uh, the kind of deal the government's going to get here is nothing like what uh, people were promised by the Leave campaign in the referendum. We simply don't know what the impact of this could be on the public's view of the legitimacy of that uh, result. As you say, it was very close. But the problem is we don't know the facts. Uh, we know much more about the level of interference in the US presidential election than we do about the level of interference and law-breaking potentially in our referendum here. And that's partly because our government here has shown absolutely no interest in trying to get to the bottom of this. Hopefully, these various investigations will, and then the government needs to act. So Boris Johnson, who was associated with the Vote Leave campaign, the heads of these two campaigns have denied that there was any uh, improper activity here at all. Um, but there are two staffers in the office of the UK Prime Minister who work at 10 Downing Street, Stephen Parkinson and Cleo Watson. And they've been drawn into these accusations. How serious is this for the Prime Minister, for, for these, these staffers? Could, could they be fired? Well, uh, we'll have to wait and see. But what I'm extremely worried about is that uh, one of these staffers, when faced with these allegations and questions, rather than actually uh, answering them, uh, uh, tried to discredit uh, uh, the whistleblower, uh, uh, Shamir Sani, by basically outing him as gay to the world, including his family in Pakistan, who are now fearing uh, for their safety. That's the most ex extraordinary and despicable uh, thing uh, to have done. And, you know, we, it, it, thankfully, Boris Johnson, our foreign secretary, is not the person who will rule on whether uh, this activity w w was illegal. That will be ruled on by our electoral commission, by the information commissioner, and possibly uh, by the police. And it's interesting that he came out so quickly, he can't possibly have read the multiple files that have been presented uh, by your journalism and the other journalists working on this and the whistleblowers to our authorities here. So how can he possibly know uh, whether the law was broken or not? And he is personally accused by Mr. Sunny of knowing exactly what was going on. Number of investigations in your country. There's one into aggregate IQ here in Canada as well. We'll be following all of this. So thank you so much, uh, Ben Bradshaw, thank for, you, Wendy. for being with us today. Thank you.